artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. When we started thinking about making Bioshock, I think we looked out at the, the first person shooter space and we sort of said, what's missing? We thought the genre had gotten a little stale, a lot of a lot of scripted sequences, a lot of corridor shooters, and a lot of things that sort of limited uh, the player's tool set, what the player could do, and every player's experience was, was the same. And we wanted to give the player the, the choice about opening up all these different kinds of uh, character choices for a player, and then also making the world more expressive. You're fighting these crazy looking people that are coming at you with like, you know, lips barely there, like stuff going out the side of their head. Then you find out that there are these uh, little sisters who are roaming the halls with uh, these massive syringes that they're using to suck liquid out of dead bodies and then drinking it. And they're actually guarded by these huge walking tanks. Um, these, these guys in, in some kind of diving suit um, called the Big Daddies. What's great about the Big Daddies and the Little Sisters is that they present this wild card. They're just going about the world doing their own thing. But they're also, the Big Daddy's the powerhouse of the world, and he's fiercely protective of the Little Sister. I think that one of the things that makes the Gather Protector uh, AIs unique to Bioshock and unique in games in general uh, is their specific relationship to one another in the game. Uh, they have very subtle interactions with each other as they move throughout the world. And again, they're not directly aggressive to the player, so the player can, can very easily perceive this relationship until they make that choice to engage them. Uh, one of the really interesting things about the Gather and Protector relationship is the specific tactics they use as a team uh, to defeat you when you engage them. Uh, and this can be everything from the Protector actually physically grabbing the Gatherer and placing her behind him. Or in some cases, he can actually pick her up and put, him, put her on his suit and is able to run away. Imagine the Big Daddies uh, sort of as like a roving boss battle in the world. You, you're going to have to deal with them. You're going to, because the little sisters have the resource that you need to for grow your, essentially grow your character in the game. But they're protecting the little sisters. But these guys are so tough. It's not like you can just like a, like a regular shooter go in and take them out. You really got to use, you got to strategize about how you take them out. You have to use all your all your tools, not just on your own body, not just in your own tool set, all your different ammo types, all your different plasmids. Um, you have to use the world. You have to use the AI. And quite often, because they're so tough, you're not going to be able to take them down on the first try. You, you attack them, you go in there, you slam them, you realize, okay, this is too tough, and you're going to have to take off and go rethink your strategy. The one thing that, when you look at them, that uh, you're surprised by when you actually engage them as, in battle is they're really fast. Once you engage them, they move so quickly, and so, like they're so agile coming at you. It's, it's really, really crazy. A lot of people have asked me in interviews about, you know, like, who are these guys? Are these robots in the suits? Are these people? in the suits and you know, where do the, exactly do these little sisters come from and I think we're not talking a lot about that because I think that's one of the joys of Bioshock is that it's a lot of questions and um, one of the fun parts of the game is that we don't start with a giant text scroll that you know in a long time ago in a galaxy far far away part of the fun of the game is figuring out the mystery.